Okay, now again, we're going to have a look here at the old top balancing of the 32 3.2 volt cells. And top balancing, of course, we've explained that to you a few times in the past. But again, if you're just joining us, these cells come in voltage-wise topped out at 3.3 uh, 3, 3 yeah, 3.31 volts. But their state of charge can all be completely different. These lithium batteries or lipo batteries, what they do is they have a linear charge on them. And uh, like an AMG battery or a car battery, it will slowly get less and less and less voltage in it. Where these will go flat for a long till about 80% of the life or the charge of the battery, then they'll drop off dramatically. But this cell here could be at the 3.31 uh, voltage, but it could be at 80% state of charge on that linear scale. But this one over here still could be at 3.31 volts, but could be at 40% charge on that linear scale. So what this is doing, again, explaining everything, is bringing all of the batteries back up to the same state of charge. 3.3 volts, or actually I'm gonna take these up to 3.6 volts, and the state of charge will be then all the same, and then the batteries will start off equally when I put them in the bus. It's been a week now, believe it or not, uh, balancing, top balancing these batteries. And we're now down to 3.36 as far as the amperage going in. And again, you can see I'm uh, balancing them up to 3.62, 3.64 uh, volts. And the amount of watts going in right now is 12.18, 12.21. But this 3.36 has to go down to zero. And when it gets down there, then they will all be at the same voltage and they'll all be at the same state of charge. So again, if you uh, haven't seen the past video on the battery, how I hooked them up, uh, they're all in parallel. They're all the positives, which is black. Remember black on a, on a battery like this is the positive because they are really modeled after a house voltage. In a house voltage, the black is hot. And then the white is now the negative. Or the, or the, yeah, the negative. So what I've done is I've hooked all of the positives together, all of the negatives together, and hooked them into my little charger here. And that's how they are being balanced, top balanced, when they're all in parallel series. And again, when we're done, we're going to be putting them together, eight cells in a battery, and each battery will represent 24 cell, or 24 volts. So the 24 volt batteries will then go into the bus and that's what will charge the, well, that's what will keep it running when you're off grid. It'll keep the refrigerator going. It'll keep the, um, the induction stove going. It'll keep somebody's calling me. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, now where was I? I have no idea what I was talking about except top balancing these batteries. And again, after their top balance, they'll be put together in those four 24 volt batteries, eight cells to a battery will be put together in series. And then the four 24 volt batteries will be put together in parallel. So they remain 24 volts to feed our entire system. But again, like I started to say, it'll keep the refrigerator going. It'll keep the air conditioners going. It'll keep the induction stove going. It'll keep the heated floor going. Yes, we do have a heated floor in here. I put that in before I put the uh, new flooring down. Uh, it'll keep uh, it'll keep everything going, so and it should be able to keep it going for about five days. And what they call uh, autonomous, off grid, no sunshine type of uh, type of background, or type of atmosphere. So, and I don't think I'll ever get into that. But again, remember, if I do need to do something like that, I do have an onboard 8.5 kilowatt generator that will happily recharge the batteries for me if I need to. And then we'll be putting, in the not too distant future, we'll be putting four 540 watt solar panels on the roof, which will feed these continuously. Uh, they'll feed it when it's going down the road, they'll feed it when it's stopped, and that will keep us charged and going down the road. Then, after that, what we need is, of course, food and fuel. Hmm. The two most expensive parts. Well, not really. But uh, as we continue to go, that will be the expense, I hope. And 
no major breakdowns as this bus runs great anyway thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying this as we wait and see how long it will take this poor battery of oh, this series of battery cells to charge and top ballots interesting it's been a week already but we've come down more than the more than one one amp one amp and these again that needs to go to the 3.360 needs to go down to zero for them all to be top ballots again thanks for watching hope you're enjoying this and remember to like share and then subscribe and uh, tell a friend about us and we would be happy to continue doing these uh this, this series of challenges here on the Brian's Bus Adventure. And again, here comes the air conditioning, so I'm going to sign off again, and you all have a real good day. Bye!